This little statue has brought me so much trouble. It was a mistake to come back. Um, I mean, why? Why did I do it? It's just, it's just a, just a bit of plastic, really. It doesn't, doesn't really matter. Uh, but actions have consequences. Hang on. So, uh, here we go. Let's do this. Hi. I forgot that we don't do the little interviewy things anymore and that we just go into promos. Did we even used to do that here in Antel? I don't know. I feel like it did. Might have been a Mandela effect. I don't even know what a Mandela effect is. I assume that's when Morgan Freeman comes and uh, makes a mediocre movie with Clint Eastwood. Anyway. Fun. Good evening, everyone here at Onto. We have another match today. Today is between former champion Kayla Boatman and the number one fan of this division, Alex Martinez Coronado. With me today, I got the lovely Mr. Thomas Scully. Scully, how are you today? I'm doing great. You know, it's, it's not often that, that you get to see two people with such different personalities who are actually very, very, very close in person uh, go go toe to toe uh, on the trivia stage. Um, right now, Alex looks like he just made a deal with the devil, whereas Boatman, as always, looks like he just got off the set of a of, of a Christian youth show uh, that was canceled after one season. Um, so yeah, this should be a fun, should be a fun match. Both both look sort of ready. Um, that's my favorite. Is is is, is I, I call it the Scully when when you, when you kind of forget that that the match was like. You know, right then and there, and you have to like run your computer and drop everything you're doing. I love that, so I'm excited. Let's see what happens. Yeah, so without further ado, so introducing first the challenger, the number one fan of this division, Alex Martinez Coronado, and the equally ready and also a big fan of this division, Mr. Caleb Boatman. I didn't even remember how we did promos. <laughs> To be clear, it's the team's division that I hate. That's the one that I hate. Uh, that's the one that I should We're hate. off to a great start. Oh, big awesome job, guys. Big defense. All right. So just a quick refresher of, of the rules. Uh, ten. Yeah. Ten questions in round one. Three repeats. Roger doesn't even know how to. <laughs> Three repeats. Uh, one challenge. Get the wrong week we to stop sniffing glue. <laughs> one challenge. Anyways, Scully, do you want to take the first question? Yes, I would love that. Guys, your first question is going to be in the category of the 2000s. What college does Elle Woods go to following her boyfriend in Legally Blonde? This is a, uh, this is a movie of, of controversy in this community. Some love it. Some hate it. Others, like me, like it. And I think that's the correct opinion. It's the same joke. Four, three, two... One, I like Kirk's opinions more. Boatman? Uh, Harvard. Uh-huh. And Alex? Harvard. Both correct. I just realized that. No one's been alive. Go on. I'm so disappointed. All right. Give me a second. All right. So, the second question in a category of biopics. Name both actors who play Emily's parents in The Big Sick. So, I discovered recently that out of everyone in my current fashion, I agree with Kirk the most, which nobody has told me whether that's a good or a bad thing. Well, uh, well let's put it this way. Um, you're, you're different. I'll, 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 that, that, that's, that's being nice. You're very different. Thank you. Five, four, three, two, one. Hands are down. Alex? I couldn't remember. I think I only got one. Ray Romano and Helen Hunt. Um, Boatman? Ray Romano, Holly Hunter. Ray Romano and Holly Hunter is correct. The other so, double H game. Yeah. The one in the very bad movie called Broadcast News. All right. Your, your third. All right. We're going we're gonna, to. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> This is not good. Guys, your next question real quick is the category of directors. Who directed Bloody Sunday, 
and green zone. So maybe uh, a word of advice: let's not exact emotional torture on uh, on the competitors. Uh, hey, Kaiser, the question of round one. Know, for your Finding Nemo thing, and now this—that's strike two. You say one more bad word about <laughs> Albert Brooks, and I'm driving to Singapore. I don't care if my car won't. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Hands down, Boatman. Uh, it's Paul Greengrass. Alex. Paul Greengrass. Both correct. For the record, Albert Brooks is fine. The uh, the bad one is uh, William Hurt. All right. Your next question in the category of action adventure. Which famous actress makes an early appearance as Goose's wife in Top Gun? Into the danger zone. Fantastic. Five, <laughs> four, three, Take my two, breath away. one, and stop. <laughs> Alex. So you've been sitting on that wonderful singing voice this whole time? I didn't have it. Uh, Meg Ryan. Meg Ryan is correct. You've never and seen me do karaoke. It it's like seeing the face of God. <laughs> All right, your next question is in the category of the 2010s. Jason Clark, Josh Brolin, and Jake Gyllenhaal all star in what 2010s film? So, among these three, which one is your favorite of them? Ooh, well, uh, Josh Brolin has been in the most uh, fandom films, so I'm going to go with him. Two, five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. My favorite is Jin Hall. And Boltman? Big T Swift guy, right? Harris. Harris. Mm -hmm. And Alex? Terminator Genesis. Why? Boltman's correct. I don't, look, I didn't know answer. I'm just trying my best. That's not a bad guess, actually. True enough, true enough. <laughs> and your next question in a category of musicals. Both Halloween and Christmas are being celebrated in what? Judy Garland, starring musical. So, yeah. Even though Jake Gyllenhaal has been in the least fandom movies, I think I like his the most. So, yeah. Mm. Jason Clark, eh, sucks. <clears throat> Jesus. All right. He's great right. in, uh, in Dawn. Three. He's fine. Hands down. Uh, I think we're Alex. Wizard of Oz. And Bolton. Meet me in St. Louis. Uh huh. That is correct. Oh God, he said it like that. That's how they say it. Right. In the well, that was the forties when things were different. All right, guys. Next question in the category of the nineteen eighties. What is the name? Was the full name of Robert De Niro's character in The King of Comedy? So I have not seen this movie, but I watched a, a fandom movie that I've heard is a remake of this movie, and I hated it. So that's that. Yeah. So you're in that camp. What camp? There's only the one camp. camp. You, literally, everybody either loves it or hates it. Fair. There's again. really no right. in-between. Four, three, two, one. Pens down. Um, Bowman? Rupert Pupkin. And Alex? Joker. <laughs> I love it. Brownie points, but Bowman's correct. And your next question in... Oh, sports. What decade is the Sandlot set in? You, you play ball like a girl! Sorry, I, I have no idea what you're talking about. You, you, that's a quote from the, the Sandlot. Guys, right? Why would I know what a Sandlot is? Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, Alex. Except the 1980s? Uh, 1960s? Bowman. 1960s is correct. Yeah. And Bowman is still maintaining a 
Wrong. He is, is going to be in crime. In Paper Moon, what do Moses and Addie sell? You were, you were good not to say the word. That's good on you. Mm-hmm. I like I, I like both I like both these competitors. I don't want to you know jinx them. That would be not nice. Uh, I also like both competitors. Um, good to know. Five, <laughs> four, three, two. It's the one. poster. Uh, Pens down. <laughs> Butlin. Bibles. And addicts. Cocaine. All right. Bibles is correct. Oh, okay. All right. And your final question in the category of war. What is Kurtz's rank in Apocalypse now? Now, if Bowman gets this question wrong, then he should be ashamed. But sorry, could you repeat the question? I didn't I didn't hear the first few words. All right. Um, okay. So okay, for, for repeat. In the category of war, what is Kurtz's rank in Apocalypse now? Yeah, Kaiser. How could how could either of us ever miss an apocalypse now question? For you though. Mm. For I mean, that's, I'm just, whatever. I'm I'm more referencing you have my favorite wrong answer of all time. Five, four. Oh. <laughs> well, I forgot about that. Pens down, uh Alex. Lieutenant. Bowman. Colonel. Bowman is correct. And for a perfect round. All right. So, Bowman, you're going to write this down, and I'll give you your bonus question right now. In what 60s film will you hear the quote, I was so careful. I picked the wrong play, the wrong director, the wrong cast. Where did I go right? The producers. Correct. For the true perfect round. All right, so, so I, have, I have eleven to two. Yeah, so so do I. Let's all right, all over again. All right, so we move on to round two, where both competitors have picked a movie for the other to study. Bowman has picked this his movie, I assume, The Sword in a Stone, and Alex has picked The Lord of the Rings, nineteen seventy eight. So Bowman, since you are in a lead, do you want to do Lord, Lord of the Rings or Sword in a Stone first? Let's get Lord of the Rings over with. <laughs> all right, and wait before we, we do that cut. Uh, all right, so we'll do the Lord of the Lord of the Rings first. So, Scotty, do you want to do the questions for Lord of the Rings? I will absolutely do it first. I will do that. All right, guys, here comes your first question. What is the last family that Bilbo celebrates at his birthday? Who's Bilbo? Sorry. Um, what was the question? Never mind. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Alex. Proud feet. Proud Both feet. Both correct. I don't like any of Mark that. Myers. I'll take Mark no, Myers. I hate, I hate this already. <laughs> We're going to go to your next question. <laughs> Gandalf tells Sam and Frodo to lie to the other hobbits and say they are moving away to what area? Okay, so Scuddy, I am someone who has never seen this movie. Is it better or worse than the Hobbit movies? Oh, uh, way worse. Way worse. Worse than everything but Battle of the Five Armies. All right, don't listen oh, to him. He's, he's, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Battle yeah. of the Five Armies is Three, bad. Two, it's, it's one. Fine. Hands down. Bowman. Buckleberry. Alex. Mm, said Barry Hill. Um, Buckleberry is correct. All right. And the third question. What is the name of the eagle that took Gandalf from Saruman's tower? I like eagles. Badass bird. I like eagles, eagles too, even though I've never seen them. And right. Every now and then I'll see, I'll see like this massive fucking bird in the sky. I'm like, oh look, the eagles are coming. Oh, an eagle, pens down. 
All right, uh, Alex. Kawhi here. Boatman. Tolkien word. Kawhi here is correct. Yep. Kawhi is correct. All right. Your next question. Finish this quote from Gandalf. The question is not who wishes to go, but blank. We're looking for two words. So, who do you like more, Gandalf or Saruman? Um, I mean, I like I like Gandalf more, obviously, because I'm not you know a psycho. I mean, Considering I Saruman, Saruman was like the Middle Earth equivalent of like Joseph Goebbels, I mean. You know what? Actually, yeah, that's that's correct. that's fair. Bye. There's definitely a right answer here. Three, two, one. Hands down. Um, Boltman. He said, "Why Frodo?" Uh, Alex. Must go. Who will? Okay. All right. Last question. Who is Balin's father? Uh, Again, I have no idea who that is. Watch the Hobbit films and you'll find out real quick. Ugh. He's actually a really good character in, in those films. Mm. Oh yeah, he's a he's a white bearded. Baller is my favorite. Dwarf. Five, four, three. He's a real two, baller. One, hands down. Uh, Alex. Fundin. Bowman. Nope. Fundin is correct. So at the end of the uh, Lord of the Rings round, I have 15 to 5 in favor of Bowman. Yeah, that's what I have to. Still still anybody's game. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> now we will go on to the questions in The Sword in the Stone, a movie I also have not seen. The first Trivial. question. What is Madame Mim's Third rule for the wizard's duel in the sword in the stone. Sorry, did you say third rule? Yes, I did. Okay. So, I'm someone who hasn't seen this movie, but I've seen other adaptations of the King Arthur story. Is this a good adaptation or no? Honestly, like I, I I've only seen a couple, but like this, this, this might be my favorite personally. The thing is, you have to remember, it's not the King Arthur story. It's kid King Arthur and yeah. that only. Like, it's just, it's a vibes movie. It is. All right. I'll check it out soon. Bowman? No disappearing. Alex? I said no turning invisible. I don't know if you'll do that. Yeah, both are, both are correct. Okay. All right. So, your next question. What does Merlin call it when he curates snow and puts it on actor? We're looking for a name. Yeah, this is like, this is like, mid like mid high tier tier Disney. For me. I mean, my Disney rankings are like all over the place. Five. I mean, like four, two thirds of the films are three and a half stars, so like mid tier encompasses like two thirds of the damn list. Pens down, Alex. I believe it's the Wizard Blizzard. Wizard oh Blizzard. Both correct. All right, and your next question is, why does Merlin want to swim through the tall grass again as a fish? Yeah, the reason why I say my Disney games are, 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 are like all over the place is because my least favorite Disney movie is Lilo and Stitch. So that's that. Wow, that is Jesus. Okay, um, that's... Hey, yo, is that better or worse <laughs> than me hating Aladdin? Let's go, Lico. But yeah, I'm no, sure. you're still. That is still. Okay. I'm still in time out. That's fine. <laughs> but that's pretty close. <laughs> Pens down, Boatman. It tickles. Uh, Alex. I did not know. I don't know the answer. It tickles. It tickles. <laughs> and your fourth question: What does Merlin show Arthur when he drops in that won't be invented for hundreds of years? Looking for an item, yeah. And 
And the reason why I say it's over space is because my favorite movie is Frozen. So that's that. Yeah. Well, at least it's not Frozen 2. Frozen 2 is up there. Your Five. favorite Disney movie is Can Frozen? It's good to know that Kaiser was born as a seven year old girl. Okay, repeat. Okay, Alex, I repeat. Okay. What does Merlin show Arthur when he drops in that won't be invented for hundreds of years? Your parents must be so sick of life. And Lilo and Stitch gets three and a half stars. And that's your problem, too. I know, I'm still in timeout. I apologize. I'm working on it. Coming soon to picture this. Me being wrong oh, about three, every anime two, movie ever. One. Pens down. Bowman. Uh, steam locomotive. Alex? I said steam train. Is it a is it a train? Yeah, a locomotive is the kind of train, but we 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 we, we can accept both. That's All right. Okay. So, your final question: What game is Madame Mim playing when Arthur enters her house? Yeah. All right, just FYI, Alex has officially avoided the knockout, so there will be a round three. <laughs> so yes. don't don't exit out of the video quite yet. Right. I mean, they'll have a scoreboard, on the, so they'll have already. Well, I'm just for all of our our blind viewers out there. Yeah. Hi, mom. Bye. Oh. <laughs> it's good. It's good to see you. <laughs> Heads down, Alex. She hates that joke every time. Uh, I said cards. Boatman. Uh, uh, solitaire. Can we accept oh, that? Oh, is correct. So we, we, we can accept cards. Cards is not a game. Totally fine. Totally fine. I don't care. Okay, so... Right. So after this, I have Boatman at 20 and Alex at 11. Is that what you have? Yep, that is correct. And if someone says they're playing cards, usually it means that they're not actually playing cards and like probably dealing drugs or something. Okay, so we move on to the third round where each competitor can pick a set of movies to a set of just they can pick a set and the set has a two pointer a three pointer and a five pointer for the two pointer they get the year the actor and a genre for the three pointer they get the year the director and the plot keywords and for the five points they get either the year director actor supporting actor genre and plot keywords so boatman you're gonna need you on set one or set two Set two. Okay, so Alex will answer from set one, and I will give Alex his questions in set one. All right. So Alex, for two points, and you need to hit this to survive. Your year is two thousand and four. Your actor is Lindsay Lohan, and your genre is comedy. Mean Girls? Correct for two points. All right. Your next question, Your for three points, your year is 1993. Your director is Brian D. Palmer. And your plot keywords are Sleazy Lawyer, X-Con, and Nightclub. Um, Miami Vice. And your winner by technical knockouts, Caleb Boatman. The correct answer is Carlito's Way. So, okay. So, we'll start with the post match interview, starting with the unfortunate second place, wrong person, yeah. <laughs> Alex. Alex. Hi. So, Alex, couldn't quite pull out the win today, but you avoided the knockout. So, how are you feeling? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, great. When I started out here in the, the leagues, uh, Boatman was, like, one of, if not, like, the top guy at the time. And uh, I worked my way up to be able to play him uh, in singles 
not even not just like at Geek or not just in Phantom. I worked my way up to be able to play him uh, perfectly legitimate uh, the whole way in singles. I lost uh, because he is, in fact, better than me. And, uh, you know, that's just the way it works out. I've got a lot of work to do. Uh, <laughs> Boatman gave me homework. Um, and uh, I am proud to say that I'm I'm the somewhat proud owner of like three Albert Brooks movies now that I will be watching in the coming weeks. Uh, so we we we're we're on the way to mending this relationship or breaking it when I give it like two stars or whatever. I mean I don't know I haven't seen it yet, um, but we'll see we'll see. Uh, just, yeah, just watch the really really good ones and don't <laughs> even disregard any of the ones that he's higher on than everyone else. Oh okay, <laughs> sounds like a plan. All right. So now I believe you are four and three. Yep. And is there anyone that you want to face when you come back? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, whoever's next is whoever's next. I know how matchmaking is done, and Adelaide has the year mapped out. So I'm pretty sure my my next opponent is already written down somewhere. Uh, I hope they like shitty geek movies, because that's what I got, baby! <laughs> uh, um... Uh, hopefully I make it to this year's tournament and hopefully, hopefully I make it out of the round one of this year's tournament. Uh, we'll, we'll see. I don't know. And you couldn't play this way against me, huh? I mean, nah. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> Whatever. Hey, yeah, Scully. I'm fine. Sc yeah, that's my answer. Scully, Scully, uh, Scully versus me too. Uh, this <laughs> time... <laughs> This time it's personal for him. I still won't care. I like it all. All right. So whenever you come back, I'm sure you'll be a sight to see. And now we go on to the winner today, Mr. Caleb Bowman. <laughs> you won, despite the fact that you say you didn't have time to watch the movies. So how are you feeling? I mean, that's not entirely true. I had time to, like, watch the... I had time to watch. I didn't have time to study. That was basically the, the part of it. Um, but no, it was it was uh, fun. Alex is always fun. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I think that, you know, um, if this is what I look like with, you know, a lot going on, like, like last week was finals week. This is Monday after finals week. So like, and I had other matches I was prepping for. So if this is me on low prep, we'll see how I am on high prep. Fighting words. All right. So we do know your next opponent. You'll be playing the kangaroo, Jake Maringoni next. Mm -hmm. Thoughts on a match? I, look, here's the thing, right? If this is like 2020, that's peak Jake and I beefing with each other. Because we were the guys. At that time, we were like the two guys. Now, we're, we're not the two guys. I like to think I'm out there. Jake stepped back a little bit. So now this has gone from Rocky versus Apollo in Rocky 1 to basically the fun match at the end of Rocky three. Like that's basically what this is. Um, this is, this is the, you know, backdoor match that just happens to get filmed. This is, this is fun. Just old times sake two old duffers going at it. Basically. I don't think that was, that was something from uh, giving you a terrible movie, but. Yeah. I mean, everybody probably will. I, or he could just use Spider-Man. Has he used Spider-Man yet? He'll probably just Kangaroo use Jack. Here, here we come. Or Kangaroo Jack. Well, I, I prepped that for... I I wrote his deep cuts for that. So, like, I, I got I got notes for days. All right. So, whenever the match is filmed, I'm sure it'll be very, very friendly and very fun. And, okay. So, any final words, Bowman? No. So, Scotty, final thoughts on the match today? Yeah, this was good. I think Alex bounced back really well after that uh, that two point round one. Um, the deep cuts, I think, kind of saved him there a little bit. Um, it's just, just too much of deficit in round three, though, to fully uh, make the comeback. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, and honestly, this was a lot of fun today. Like, even though both competitors say they didn't prep a lot, their round two showed that even with Widow prep, that they still scored a fair amount of points. So imagine them with more prep time. Yeah, they could be scary. Yeah. All right. But with that, that concludes our proceedings for today. And everyone, stay home, stay safe, have fun, eat food. Who knows? I'm, I'm bad at this. Bye.